<laughs> if I had a nickel for every time a charity sent me a nickel. Really? That's gonna be our whole life, huh? If my father's any guide around 50, I start to lose my hearing and get two new jokes. <laughs> hey, hey, I brought Chinese. Oh, it's a nice surprise. What's the occasion? Please, I don't need a reason to bring food to my friends. But you have one, don't you? Yeah, I need your help. All right, lay it on us. So, I folded, and I told Howard he could be a part of my planetarium show. And now I'm worried he's just gonna make the whole thing about himself. So just tell him you changed your mind. You don't want him to do it. No, no. Then he's going to think I'm too insecure to share the spotlight with him. And he'd be right. <laughs> well, I came here for your support. Well, then you just walked up three flights of stairs for nothing. Wait, don't you mean four flights? No, it's actually three. But, but we're on the fourth floor. I mean, you have the lobby, first floor, second, third, fourth. But lobby's the first floor, so lobby, second, third, fourth. That does not seem right. Hello! <laughs> All right, Roger, who cares if Howard tries to steal the show, all right? You're great at what you do. Just be the bigger man. And if it makes you feel better, Penny and I will come so you'll have a couple of friendly faces in the audience. Thank you. That would be nice. Can you just... Sorry, give me a minute. <laughs> hey, Raj, if I had a nickel for every time a charity sent me a nickel... <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> Three, right? Just shut up. <laughs> so when was the last time you saw Howard in his astronaut uniform? About a week ago. Really? What was the occasion? Date night. <laughs> we do a little role playing. What role do you play? I am Ekaterina Nostirovia, lonely Russian cosmonaut who is expert at physics and making of love. <laughs> Okay, that just made the next hour really weird. Good evening. I'm Dr. Rajesh Kutrapali. And usually I take you on a trip through the stars, but tonight we begin our journey much closer to home. 220 miles straight up to the International Space Station, which is manned by a team of brave men and women. Flexible men and women. Such <laughs> And we are fortunate to have one of those men here with us tonight. Please welcome to the Griffith Observatory astronaut, Howard Joel Wallowitz. Don't ask. Thank you, Raj. That was a really nice introduction. Well, it's from my heart. So, Howard, you are in an elite group. Only 232 people have ever been on the International Space Station. How does that make you feel? Honestly, lucky. Most astronauts have to train their whole lives. I was just in the right place at the right time. Oh, please. Luck had nothing to do with it. You people need to know how impressive this man is. He was up there because he's the only one qualified to install a piece of equipment that he designed. Thanks, but if you want to talk impressive, this guy right here discovered a planetary object outside the Kuiper Belt. He worked on the Mars rover. He helped launch the New Horizons space probe. He went to space in a Russian rocket. <laughs> and I was scared the whole time. And I was scared for you, but also proud. <laughs> wow, I don't think you've ever said that to me before. I should have. And I'm going to say it again. I'm proud of you. You're my best friend, and I love you. Oh, Raj, I love you, too. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Bring it in, spaceman. You've been cleared for landing. <laughs> Can you believe he's so... Are you crying? 